Welcome to Trico Theory. My name is Rishi K. We give you the facts and we give you some fiction. But it's your job to siphon off fact from fiction. Of all the theories that litter the internet, the flat earth conspiracy is quite possibly the most curious. After all, the ancient Greeks figured out the planet's shape and even its circumference in the third century BC. But a fringe society founded in the 1950s dedicated to insisting that the earth is flat has given rise to modern ground of flat earth adherers. These believers claim that the earth is a flat disk and that evidence that it is round, say pictures taken from space, are an elaborate hoax involving multiple governments. Opinions differ on exactly how the flat earth works with believers concocting elaborate versions of physics and creative interpretations of the solar system to make their theories work. But interest in the topic has been climbing steadily since late 2014. Shortly after a faction of Daniel Shenton's Flat Earth Society broke away to create its own website and forum. The Flat Earth Society site, which posts that the idea of a round Earth is somehow related to the faking of the moon landing, is remarkably well designed and professional looking, eliminating some of the old hallmarks of disinformation on the internet. There's no clear study indicating how many people have been convinced. And flat earthers will tell you without evidence there are millions more in the closet anyway, including Hollywood A-listers and commercial airline pilots. But online communities have hundreds of thousands of followers. And YouTube is inundated with flat earth content creators whose productions reach millions. Modern flat earth beliefs are promoted by an organization uh, and of course individuals who make claims that the earth is flat while denying the earth's sphericity, contrary to over two millennia of scientific consensus. Flat Earth beliefs are pseudoscience. The theories and assumptions are not based on scientific knowledge. Flat Earth advocates are classified by experts in philosophy and physics as science deniers. In 1956, Samuel Shenton created the International Flat Earth Research Society, running it as organizing secretary from his home in Dover in England. In 2017, the American rapper B.O.B., real name Bobby Ray Simmons Jr., started a crowdfunding campaign to launch a satellite. The rapper, a vocal proponent of the flat earth theory, wanted to seek evidence that our planet is indeed a disk and not a globe. His aim was to raise $200,000. He later opted to $1 million on the GoFundMe website with the aim of sending one or more craft into space to help him find the curve. The term that uh, flat earthers used to describe the edge of our supposed disc-shaped planet. There's now an annual flat earth conference, believe it or not, in the US, the most recent of which was attended by more than 600 people. Today's flat earth believers are not though the first to doubt what seems quite unquestionable. The notion of a flat Earth initially resurfaced in the 1800s as a backlash to scientific progress, especially among those who wish to return to biblical literalism. Perhaps the most famous proponent was the British writer Samuel Rowbotham, 1816 to 1884. He proposed that the Earth is a flat, immovable disk centered at the North Pole with Antarctica replaced by an ice wall at the disk's outer periphery. As with any fringe movement, there are disagreements in several different flat Earth models that exist to choose from. Some models propose that the Earth's edges are surrounded by a wall of ice holding in the oceans. Others suggest our flat planet and its atmosphere are encased in a huge hemispherical snow globe from which nothing can fall off the edges. To account for night and day, most flat earthers think that the sun moves in circles around the North Pole, with its light acting like a spotlight. That's Trico Theory for this week. Our job is to give you facts versus fiction 
You figure out what's fact and what's fiction. We'd like you to put your comments right here below. And if you have any theme that you'd like us to explore or any fact or fiction that you'd like us to delve into, please let us know. My name is Rishi K. It's over and out. Till next time. 94.3 Radio 1.